ABC Big Two's Rachel Hallam joins us live now in the studio. Rachel, many kids are just looking to be home for the holidays. That's right, Maddie. Child Protective Services may have one of the most emotionally challenging jobs, especially during the holidays. Separating families can never be an easy task. But with the introduction of virtual aspects, reuniting with chil children with their families is possible now more than ever. While CPS is constantly dealing with the new cases on a daily basis, the holidays tend to see a spike. Normally during the holidays and also during the first of the summer, we will see an increase in removals of children from homes. Since the breakout of the pandemic, virtual meetings and classes have become very prevalent in our society, especially in the daily life of Child Protective Services. So people that formerly might not have the ability to travel to get their classes and, and get their services done are able by virtue of the computer or phone uh, can access that information. With the introduction of the virtual classes, meetings, and even hearings, the entire process of reuniting children with their families has become a more likely idea. We ask a lot of parents when they get involved in the system and it has been difficult at times for the parents to be able to do everything that's asked of them. They have to keep a job, they have to keep a house, they have to do these classes. Well, and they have to come to court. And with the virtual ability, they can come to court, especially if they live in Monaghan's or Kermit. They can attend their court hearing and not have to take a whole day off of work. And though it may seem as if CPS is tearing families apart, reuniting families in the end is the main goal for the organization. Well, that is the most rewarding part of my job, is to see a family that's successfully reunited. And all children love their parents. And it doesn't matter what type of abusive home that a child comes from, they love those parents. Many of the children want to take responsibility for what's happened in their home, and almost all of the children want to go home. Child Protective Services is hoping to see the rise in reunited families continue as long as possible. Reporting in studio, Rachel Hallam, ABC, Big 2 News.